Hi guys, um, this is Sol from Salt and Pepper. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the website in your first account for MD Labs and how to set your subscription settings in there. So MD Labs is a vendor system that allows you to sell your products within Second Life and also get statistics from it so you see um, how many were sold, where they were sold, who bought them and so you are able to re-deliver your items in case they get lost or you have an update or anything like that. On top you can do um, gift cards, store credits and promo codes and many many more features that the website gives you that you can handle on um, the back end so to speak. And just note that MD Labs is a subscription based system that means you have to pay um, the subscription where you can choose between either a 2% split or a fixed fee of 999 Linden dollars per week. When you are a small creator just starting out, I would definitely recommend to go with the 2% split. It has a minimum that you have to pay. The minimum will be 49 Linden dollars per month. So if you're basically very low with your sales, you almost pay nothing for um, the subscription. Later on, when you realize your sales are getting higher and maybe the fixed rate will be better for you and the actual cheaper way, so you can always switch. So, after we bought it, it will land in our object folder and we can just add the HUD and click to unpack it. So what you will see first is all these items um, that you get and you will need most of them from the very beginning. So once you have unpacked everything, the first thing I would suggest to do is create your account on the MD website. If you have a previous product already, you most likely have an account, so your product just will be added there. If not, then you create a new one. You, for that, you wear the HUD, the MD Labs Online Services HUD. Just attach it and you click on the Online Services and it will guide you to the page um, that will look like this where you have to put your um, avatar name and a password. To create a password, we need, go, we need to go back to the HUD and create it from there. So we're going to um, click set password and it will ask you if you want to register. And you click register and here you set your desired password and um, this is what it will show later on for uh, what you will need to log into the website. So we're just going to use uh, some test password here. Testing MD Labs. I'm going to copy it right away so I can use it for the password later. And submit. So it created my account. And now I can go back to my website and I logged in with my SL mannequin and don't use the password that you use for Second Life. Have something new. Uh, you can click the keep me logged in or not, up to you. And then we sign in. Just going to take a while for the first time. So it's checking with everything. This is going to be much faster after you um, log in after. So this is how your site will look after the first login. At the top you see Home, Products, Marketplace, Facebook, Blog and Discord. In the products, right now in the drop down I see only the MD Vendor System because this avatar only have, has this one. Otherwise all your MD products show up there and you can toggle between them back and forth. So we're going to go into the vendor system and this is how it's set up 
in the very beginning. So you see the name of your store, and um, this is the store owner. And uh, if you have a second store or an owner, you can set them in there as well. Um, as I mentioned before, today we're just going to do the basic client setup. Um, there's a lot to explain. Um, if I get some more time, I'll show you more tutorials on, on details, how to set up different things. So the most important is to see, um, this is the overview page. We have a store total profit, imported profit if you're switching um, vendor systems. So you have your imported data in there as well. We can set a store name. Uh, we call it our test store. Submit, close. So we have our store name set. Here is the subscription part. It's not set. So you will have to manage this and change or um, select between 999 per week or we go um, with a variable of 2% of your month earning, which I would suggest if you are a new creator, otherwise just do the math, whatever is better for you. Um, you can allow gifted subscription renewal. That means another avatar can come and pay for you if you have it uh, paid through different avatars. That's basically the only reason you need that. You want to receive reminders in world because when your subscription is not paid, the vendor system will stop to work. It has a gracious period of some time, so it will not just stop right away. But if you just don't uh, pay the subscription, obviously you cannot use the features of a subscription based vendor system. So we're going to click save and the billing will be updated. So for the first month, it will calculate whatever you have um, earned and then take the 2% of um, your sales. Now, um, here also you later on, you will be able to add single transactions if you have a missing transaction or if you want to gift something to someone and you have it, um, you want to have it in the system so they can get redelivery and stuff. So this was it. Um for the setup for the account and for the website and for your subscription. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do a client setup for the vendors.